Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kogelman, and today we're adding more RAM to a gaming laptop which is an MSI GL627RD. There will be some other models that will also work the same way. So if you're watching this video for MSI brand type of laptop, you probably have the right one. For this we're using 8 gigabytes of crucial memory, there's a link in the description if you happen to have the same laptop. One way to tell that you have a similar or the same laptop is if you flip it over you can see that the cover is just like this. There's nothing to flip off, we have to unscrew quite a few screws around this and it should be fairly simple, we just have to take our time. One thing that's also crucial is being able to take it off of this part where the audio jacks are. So once you unscrew everything, the hard part is to actually remove it from this part without breaking. So take your time when you do so. So since for this laptop there are a lot of screws, make sure you keep track of them. We have a total of 16 screws that go all the way around, so keep track of those as you remove them. These happen to be a little bit deeper, so I had to use a regular screwdriver for this. So with the screws loose, you can just start popping this back plate off. Just take your time. It comes off just like this. And here we are, here we are at the difficult part of it here. Once you get to here, you just kind of lift up a little bit and then pop from this side. There we go. So once you get it going snapping from here, kind of go move it like this way so it pops off gently off of the edge of the connectors here. Now that we have access to the memory modules, we can see that there's one empty spot where we're going to insert our memory card. By the way, if you're changing your battery, this is how you would do it. You have to pop the back off as well, and there's one screw that holds it in, and then it just slides out. Installing memory is really simple. Take it out of your package. The main thing you have to watch for is the gap in the middle here. You can see that this is wider and this is narrower, and then we have a little gap in the middle. So all you gotta do is just compare your RAM. You can see that it doesn't go that way, so we're just going to flip it over like this, and then we're going to insert it like that. The way you do it is just simply align it like that. You want to make sure you have a good view of that. With a spring, it has a spring on it, all you got to do is just push down like that. And then you're done. Your RAM is installed, and now you got to just put the cover back on, and then that should do it. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you need links to any of this, check it out in the description below. Please share with friends, and if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Have a good day. Oh yeah, before I go away, let me show you how to put this lid back on. Again, this is the hardest part around these audio jacks. So, just kind of like we did in reverse. Start from the top, where the audio jacks are. Kind of align it like that, and then just lower it. Very simple, and it will save you a lot of headache. Just don't ever force anything here because everything is really thin on these type of laptops. So take your time and enjoy your RAM upgrade. Bye.